Sometimes a horse has got to do what a horse has got to do. Don't get <laughs> baby. Nay. 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 Welcome to Guilty Pleasure. <laughs> nay. We nay. Nay. Knock if you buck. Nay if you bay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? Nay like if it. you dare. Oh, oh all right. if you... Well, I gave up. Yeah. I gave up. There Guys, they were talking about Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. Who? Wow. Will we find out? Is the Cimarron? Yeah. Anyone know? You, this is you admitting at the top of the episode that you didn't Google what Cimarron means? No, did you? Of course I did. Is that the tribe? Do you Immediately know? Immediately I was like, what the fuck is Cimarron? Because I always, the Cimarron. <laughs> I've been calling the horse Cinerol all day. Spirit, the stallion of the Cimarron. No, the Cimarron is refers, I'm, I'm going to Google it so I don't sound stupid again. Also, while Zach Googles this, I'll just tell you what he's wearing. He's got a shag <laughs> blankie draped over his shoulders like a little cold grandma at her beach it. house, rocking back it. and forth in a rocking chair. I think it's a vibe. It is. I feel I feel cozy today. I, I've yeah. been traveling. I just wanted to be in a bl- little blanket boy. You Where were. have you been? Where'd you go? We were filming all over the place, oh, man. Oh, oh, right. You went to Disney. We were in Florida. We did yeah. uh, some scavenger hunt videos. We were in Miami. I had the definition of the Cimarron right here. But first, if you're listening to this with ads... What you doing? What are you doing? If you listen yeah. to this on the normal posting day, what you doing? That's yeah. crazy. If you listen to all that, all that stuff, because we now have the Tripods Patreon. You can listen to the Tripod Guilty Pleasures. You can sit with us, all your faves. Wow. Uh, go on over oh, there God. to Patreon slash whatever it <laughs> Huge is. Deal. Huge fucking deal. <laughs> yeah. Um, is that not? I am enthused. It's a big fucking deal. <laughs> it's a BFD. huge deal. We're moved. Yeah. We're for the people now. We weren't before. We were before the man. Now we're for the people. Yeah. Yeah. We went from we this went from to this. We from one person to multiple Many's. folks. We listen to you guys now. We don't have to take shit from Zach anymore. This is yeah. a grassroots show. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh. This was recommended by a Patreon exclusive. This episode, actually. Yes. yes, you're right. Oh, my God. Please, Randy, tell us. Oh, yeah. Well, I put in the Patreon. I, and I said, you tell me because I put a gummy candy in my mouth. And <laughs> yeah, I and I want to choose this Oreo. Um, put, put a poll on the Patreon of what movies you guys want to see. And there are some spicy ones. So <gasps> we've got, obviously, Spirit was recommended a few times. And then coming up, That's we'll also crazy have to me that it came up multiple, multiple times. times. Yeah, people oh. fuck with this movie. That's oh, yeah. wild. I, I want to... I want to interview them. You, because you, <laughs> yeah. Rick, have a special connection to this film. I do. You said you could quote it. No, no I was talking about two. Shrek 2. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's there nothing no, to quote in no. this movie. There's no oh. dialogue. That's There's no I dialogue. I'm so confused. I have a cozy energy today. I, my so voice is going to stay, stay low. And so does Rick. Yeah. Should we You're just not going to hear this version of me. I'm staying down. Nah, we're down. Can we just try to be like kind of vibey today? Let's, do, let's be vibey. Because me- also, this is a sexy ass horse. <laughs> We just got to bring it up. I'm so glad you said it. Horse to be said out loud. I'm so glad you said it. Horse sexy as hell. There are two notes that I I wrote at seven minutes in and eight minutes in. At seven minutes in, I went, oh no, does this movie have no dialogue? Yeah. And then at eight minutes in, I wrote, oh no, never mind. That's a hot horse. (laughs) (laughs) Sexy horse question mark was my first note. Upsettingly hot. (laughs) Upsettingly hot horse. And then also the the mayor that comes in. Oh, she uh, bad. Rain? Uh, that, yeah. You mean Mayor Rain? Mayor, Mayor Rain. Her name is Rain. Her name is Rain. Is it? Close to Rainy. Uh, yeah, that's where she was I, named. That's I'm where Rainy got her name from. I'm going to even go ahead and say the mom horse is bad. Mom horse is bad. <laughs> I thought that was his wife, but I, I wasn't paying attention. And we're I, just all going to ignore Little Creek? We're all just going to ignore Little Creek? Not just the wife? <laughs> I don't want to be saying, but whoever suggested right. the Patreon... You knew what you were you doing. You knew what you were doing. You knew what you were fucking yeah, doing. Why is this such a sensual movie? Yeah, everybody who uh, suggested this movie is is just trying to get dicked down by a horse. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> and that's okay. You know, that's fine. Do what you got to do. Just be a horse first. Okay. You got to get the science down. Before we talk about horse dick, can I... Can Which I is pu- coming. Stay Which tuned. Which is coming. Yeah. And I'm so glad I'm not the one who brought it up. Yeah. Thank you for taking that bullet. Of course. Um... Did you guys see that viral video that's going around about an elephant scratching its tummy? <gasps> it's amazing. With its own penis. Oh, no. The elephant seen- is using its penis. Yeah. Like a trunk. Yeah. Like an arm. And it is reaching its penis <laughs> forward and going, 
scratching its own the belly. The head of its yeah. penis yeah. has <laughs> muscles to scratch its yeah. own belly. Yeah. Well, uh, an elephant cock should not be that big, yeah. first of it's all. It's long. Did you know. How have we never seen these? Do you know about, I mean, it's an elephant. It's the biggest land animal. Yeah, but like I've seen so many elephants in picture books and at the zoo and never once have I ever seen, yeah. <laughs> seen that thing. You ever seen a tapirs? A tapir has the largest per. Uh, it's like a baby trunked thing. Um, but it ha- it's it's. It has the largest huge. penis to animal to ratio. Animal ratio, yes. <gasps> How big it's is its penis compared the to its size body? Of its body. Yeah. <laughs> as, it's it just is penis. As, it is as long as its body. It is an appendage as well that can like reach and touch. And I will say, I think this is a relevant conversation. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell you why. Please make it make sense for us. Because horses are hot. Yeah. In a way that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> this no. movie specifically. <laughs> <laughs> this movie specifically, the horses. <laughs> no, because fuck you, Rady, because you also know it's true. No, Say I it. Think, I think spirit is hot, but I, I don't know. I mean, I guess we could get into BZ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay, think. I don't think horses are hot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I just brought up uh, Tapirs. Uh, I have a Reddit right now. Tapirs have prehensile penises what? that they use to grab hold <gasps> of the females yes. during mating to ensure insemination. The penis is also so long that it can be used to scratch its own back. Oh, Hilarious. it's own back? It's own back. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to, to just throw. Yeah, no, back to the bestiality. Back to the it's bestiality. important. <laughs> For the record, I don't find horses hot. I want to get that on the record. Yeah. Spirit is hot. Mm-hmm. I, don't I don't find, find horses, horses hot. hot. No. Horse but girls do. I think there are people. Mm, yeah. There's a lot. Men are threatened by horses. Yeah. Let's yeah. start there. At, at always. I, at a, like for whatever reason. It's taller and than it's, y'all. It's taller than us. They're it's tall, taller than all They're y'all. strong. Yeah. They and have beautiful girls hair. love them. <laughs> girls love them. And let's be let's be honest. It's in this movie also. Their, their penises are they're too pen- big. They're they're too they're too large. There's a there's an I think you should leave sketch about um uh a guy who has made a horse farm with horses that have small dicks <laughs> so that you can bring your date there and not be embarrassed. That's so, it's so good. It's such a, it, that's such a stupid, stupid specific thing that Tim Robinson came on to. But I've never trusted horse girls. Now I know why. Keith, Keith has always been more vocal about it, but I just believe that anyone who loves a horse will never love you. Oh, well, they'll, you'll never under... This might make a lot of sense. I grew up going to mini horse camp. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Exactly. What is mini Why horse Why does camp? that make a lot of sense? Why do you think that makes a lot of sense? Because I'm not quite horse girl energy. Mm-hmm. I love animals. Yeah. I do. I love animals more than people. Okay. And I find that to be an, an annoying trait of mine. Mm-hmm. And One um, of many. <laughs> mini horse camp was a camp every summer you'd go to where they had mini horses. And you would train them and bathe them and braid their hair. And then at the end of the week, you'd put on a show where you taught your little mini horse how to like stand on a box. That's so funny. And do a circle. My my horse's name, it was all chocolate. His name was Tonka. And my oh. sister's was brown, light brown. And hers was Misty. I'm sorry. It was all chocolate. Yes. His name was Tonka? Tonka. Like the Tonka trucks? I don't know what it was Tonka after. Okay. Not important. Um, so horse girls, yeah. not trustworthy. I have a no, feeling I that we have tr- many horse girls in, in the audience. For I just sure. want to say on the yeah. record, we're the problem, not you. You, you well, found I, something. I, I, no, you're the problem. <laughs> no, what sorry, is yeah. weird about horse girls is I that just remember being you, f- in- you feel like they're connecting in a sixth sense with an animal on that, a like, level we're that not I'm, invited I'm intimidated to. by. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And yes. they would always, and I remember being in college being like, hey, you want to like party? And they'd be like, no, I got to wake up at 5 a.m. to go ride a horse. Wait, what? You, you were asking baller. horse girls to party and they said no? I, I, I was rejected by a horse girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't trust them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you couldn't fathom why a girly would rather go ride a horse at 5 a.m. I can't fathom why you know, anybody would ride a horse at Yeah, like that's crazy. And then yeah, it's like, oh, to early? hang out with this majestic hot creature mm. with mm. strong legs and beautiful hair. Mm. And it yeah. also it also gives like very like rich bitch vibes to be able to ride a horse. Yeah, you're an equestrian. That's yes. like one of the biggest words in the English dictionary. <laughs> um <laughs> 
<laughs> I just I want you to picture that word in your head. Yeah, so many letters, so many fucking so letters, so many letters, and so many weird letters. Yeah, yeah. I like, but <laughs> yeah, a lot of weird ones <laughs> together. Little, all of them, all of the weird letters. Yeah, I equestrian. What the fuck is that? Also, if you saw equestrian just written out, you'd be like, "What the fuck is this about?" You'd be like, "Bless you, who made that a word? Yeah, why did we think that was okay?" And you're like, also like. What does this have to do with horses? Mm. With no part. I maybe maybe I am I am lost on I the. I think equus equus, equus is, is, is horse. Latin is horse is horse. Okay, horse. Right. I only know that because of the Harry Potter Broadway play yep. where he was uh, Mickey. Yeah, yep. okay. Dan right, Radcliffe right. starred in it, and he was nude. Oh, can I tell you why? Also, talking about horse penises was actually relevant <laughs> too. Yeah, because I was looking into this. Don't yep. ask me how I got here, but when horses when wild horses are in their little clusters, what are those called? Herds. Thank you. Herds. <laughs> Shut up. You didn't know it. I didn't know it either. <laughs> I was going to call it a tribe or something. Is it a herd of horses? Let's find out. It is a herd of horses. When they're wild like that, in stallion culture, there's only one alpha male. The same way that like uh, lions and, t- and the big lions have that yeah, where it's one, one alpha male. Yeah. So like Spirit, he was kind of a, he was kind of a fuck boy. Like he, yeah, had, well, he yeah. was a hundred percent a fuckboy. He yeah. had like, like frat star, yeah. a lot of mares. He was the, he, yeah, he was the 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 guy that was protective of his yes. mares. Yeah. yeah, and like you saw the little baby horses. Those are all his children. Like they were all those mares oh. and stuff were his cubs or whatever they're called. You're telling baby. me my boy Cimarron fucks. Oh, we knew that. I I mean I knew it. But yeah, it's nice to look know at his it. hair. That was so unnecessary <laughs> to make a horse look like that. Yeah, that was crazy. Well, let's real quick get into the synopsis. But <laughs> but first, oh, the shit. Cimarron. I promised. Uh, it has two meanings. First of all, Cimarron can mean wild and untamed. But oh. more specifically, it refers to a region in America, uh, in the Oklahoma Panhandle. Oh. That's he is the spirit of. The Cimarron. It is a, oh. an area in America. Oh, okay. Is this cool. where this took place? I thought it was in Utah. It, he has a lot. That's fair. That's fair. It does look okay, like okay, Utah. Okay, okay, okay. I, like I Utah. thought you said in America. I'm like, oh, no, yeah, it took no, place in America. It, it, okay. It yeah. just it has a, a moment where US. it talks about making a, a railroad to Utah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and they also case. like they did like they were in the Grand Canyon at one point. Yeah. Very, that eagle, they? that opening shot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, give us the I'm sorry. Well, spirit stallion of the Cimarron is about a horse. He's a wild horse. He's a stallion. He's oh a bad God. boy. Oh, he bad as hell. And he out there living his little bad boy horse life until one day, uh-oh, <laughs> white people, they're coming to take over America and Again. to try and tame the wild spirit. S- uh, spirit, he gets he gets kidnapped. He gets mm-hmm. captured. Mm-hmm. They try and tame him. They try and break that horse. Ooh, they try and break his that's spirit. That's mean, though. And he says, you won't break my soul. Yeah, 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 you yeah, won't yeah, break yeah. My yeah. Soul. He's telling everybody. And then there's a baddie named? Rain. No. Oh, um, Little Creek. Little Creek. With the jawline. <laughs> With the jawline. Yeah. Uh, they form an unlikely friendship spirit. He just keeps getting captured and keeps getting free and keeps getting captured and keeps getting free. Also, he doesn't talk. He's a horse. Matt yeah. Damon. This is spirit stallion of the Cimarron. Yeah, and we can just start off on that. Spirit <laughs> is voiced over. His internal dialogue is played by none other than, than Jason Bourne. <laughs> Matt Damon is Bro, in his fucking head. When that motherfucker started talking, I went, what? Yeah. I was like, is that fucking Matt Damon? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was very fun. That was a very, that was a nice little uh, cameo. Because well, you know why? Matt Damon wishes. He fucking wishes he could internalize the spirit of spirit. He wishes he were a horse. Yeah. 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 A big fuckable horse. A big old fuckable horse. I see that for him. Yeah. yeah. Y- you also, though, you're shocked that the horse is voiced by Matt Damon. I would say more so, I want to emphasize, he's voiced Overed Over by Matt Damon. By Matt Damon. His because internal dialogue. This is an animated movie yeah. that says, fuck you, Disney. Yeah. Our animals will not talk. They nope. do not talk. They're horses. Yeah. Yep. Humans talk. Horses don't. Yeah. Yep. So for the entire movie, you get narration yes. from Spirit. Narration. Kind of so awesome. Wow. Really good. Sorry. You said narration? Nair- like narration. Narr- oh, narration. Nair- Nair- narration's good, though. Yeah, yeah. Better. That was better. That was a good Can I tell up. you what? Mm. Both of you, on fire. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> we're feeling very cozy today, very comfortable. Yeah. But yeah, this, we're, we're very chill. Yeah. He's just a fucking horse. He's yeah. just a horse. So you're watching a movie, and again, it took me about seven minutes to realize, oh no, 
they're not going to talk. Yeah. It's just a horse making horsey sounds. Yeah. And when you want to have a dialogue scene between two horses, you're going to be listening to... And then the other horse is going... Yeah. And then Spirit goes... Yeah. They start to bark. It is an hour and a half right. of horsey noises. Yeah. Neighing. Different if, neighs. If I were to wish for anything, it would be that every domesticatable animal on the planet had that level of like intelligence they don't have to speak mm -hmm. they don't have to you know communicate in in the way that we know and want but the ability to make facial expressions bro talk about it like i want every animal to be like uh, toothless in uh, How to Train Your Dragon. I was pissed at first when I started watching this, and there was no no horse talkie. Yeah, yeah. And then I caught myself realizing, Kelsey, you're you're waiting for horses to talk. Like, what are you doing? This is a grounded, real <laughs> Americana yeah. film. Yeah. And then I saw the way these horses move their faces. Yeah. And this is giving the best, like, um. What the Emperor's New Groove? Remember that movie yeah. where remember. everyone's face was just like on acid, cr like just moving about, doing all the crazy things. These horses emote. They emote. I could feel, smell, hear, sense every single emotion. Yeah. But I, I, I also think that that's like w one thing that you have to give people credit for for going for no dialogue. That was is crazy. That in, oh, it's a bold decision. Yeah, really, crazy. very, very bold. And like in silent films in general, is that you just kind of just have to make these expressions happen, and then because there's nothing that you can hear the entire time, you're looking for any type of context. Mm -hmm. You're looking. You're you're reading into, and then you're filling in what they're trying to say in your head as you're mm -hmm. watching. I feel like Whoa. like the whole time when like there's there's a scene where a baby drops, and he's like, "What the?" Like he gives them a look that doesn't like really say anything. But in in my head, I'm I'm just like filling in. He's saying, "Oh, what the." The fuck is this little thing? Get this I thing away from me. I didn't even think about that. You're so right. And then he's and then the baby falls and starts crying, and he's like, "Oh no, I'm I'm so sorry. You're an innocent. I didn't mean that." And he picks oh my the baby God, back you're up. You're so right. Yeah, yeah. If you would have asked me what that scene was, I would have told you it was that dialogue. It's that dialogue. It, not that exact dialogue, but you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh, 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 please stop crying. I'm like, please stop. I didn't mean that. I'm I think so sorry. we're trained in like a Disneyified animated world because this was DreamWorks. I didn't yeah. know that mm -hmm. they were like no longer animator people like they do more cgi stuff like this oh yeah was i mean one they, of their last like classic oh, oh classic, yeah they don't like, do 2D, 2d animation yeah, yeah. Uh, well, i mean almost no one does, no one does yeah. but fair. they weren't like yeah. known for it either were they no so dreamworks uh at this time they had come out with shrek they were oh. pushing the cg train yeah. hard wait they had come out with shrek by the time this came out Shrek was 2000. I might be wrong. I thought this movie came out in 92. No, no. this came out in 2002. Oh my God, yeah. I read that wrong. I My mind was blown for 2000. I yeah. thought it was literally 1992. Yeah, Shrek, Shrek was came out in 2000. So, or 2001. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that changes things yeah. for yeah. me. <laughs> oh, what? You thought this was like innovative. Bro, I, when it when that opening shot, first of all, that opening shot of this eagle spread wings. Soaring through the canyon. Soaring through canyons. I went... 1992? Oh, yeah. No. no. Columbus sailed the ocean blue, bitch. I have never seen <laughs> such a Gorgina animation, but you're telling me it's 2002 now. It's, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We, were, we were doing the Still gorgeous. Things. Still, Still great. gorgeous. Still great. It was giving uh, Puss in Boots before Puss in Boots, like color, yeah. vast landscape, yeah. POV. I've, I, and I don't know, this might be in the fun facts. There was some, I felt like there was some, 3D animation in it. There was. It was yeah. an interesting blend of blend 2D, of 3D, two. Yeah. and especially in that opening. Yeah. It it you know you see this eagle, uh, American American eagle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, we don't know he wasn't Spanish. <laughs> soaring a through a eagle. canyon. Yeah. This he? crazy long Louisa. one Hair one punch. shot. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot of 3D. Yeah. I, I find it fascinating. The movies. Okay. The movie begins, you see this bald eagle, you see the freaking Grand Canyon, and I'm just like, fucking America. Like it <laughs> it's it's so America, right? Yeah. And then you it then it goes by a, a river and there's a bear. Yeah. And then you see the wild stallions in the Great Plains. And then later you have Little Creek. Yeah. Like you have Little Creek and like there the movie is showing how great mm -hmm. this is. 
And everything that all the iconography that we associate with America in the movies is just all the shit that America killed. Yeah. Yeah. Because none of this exists anymore. Yeah. Because we fucking we, like, plowed them over. We like Yellowstone left yeah. over. Paid paradise, <laughs> put up a parking lot, counting crows, baby. Right, yeah. Like right, we right. just, we turned it all into a wasteland. Yeah. yeah. It really did. Like there were so many metaphors in this movie and I thought it did like a better job than some of the, especially like the native versus colonizer films we've seen in the past where this one really had like three stubborn protagonists. It almost felt like that was all fighting for something like a cause that they believed in. And I heard something in the very beginning, like the first, first bit of voiceover that Matt Damon gives it like, it like hooked me because he goes like, this is my story and da, 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 da. and whether the, whether we won or lost the West, you'll have to decide for yourself. Oh. And I was like, oh, I already know you lost, you the, lost West the West because we fucking colonized it. Yeah. But you get to watch this period of time, this like slice of life story for when the wild wild west was actually the wild wild west which makes me think maybe this is the real type of western what a fucking weird movie yeah <laughs> what a weird movie that this exists yeah. yeah it is a mostly dialogue free horse movie about the spirit of the west and how co the colonization of america stole something beautiful pure and sacred from us yeah yeah what the fuck is this movie? It was too big for its time. It was yeah. too big for its britches. I, I mean, I will say, like, the middle of America is pretty empty. And so, like, you can try. <laughs> no, there's a lot yeah, of like, corn. There's recently. a lot of corn. There's a lot of corn. There is a shit ton of corn. A lot of farmland. But, like, these, these scenes are still out there as I've, like, taken a train through most of it. Um, there, there, it's it's around. We just murdered all the buffalo. We just yeah. murdered all the buffalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buffalo were very sick, and they're and very now they're trying to fucking nice. kill all the horses too. Yeah, pop, pop. Instead. No, oh, here's another thing that I saw in this that you don't get to see more: guns being drawn on motherfuckers. Yeah, you don't uh, see that DreamWorks, anymore. Well, but DreamWorks doesn't. They'll they'll put a gun in some. Disney will not put guns and stuff. Yeah. Except for Ratatouille, you missed that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, did. It was a shotgun did, scene. Yeah, yeah what's fucking... so funny to me? You know, you talk about the anthropomorphization. Whoa. I'm good at that word. Yeah. I can say it no problem. Also no very long. Anything. In fact, I said it perfectly. Yeah, damn. Uh, you talk about the anthropomorphization of the horses. My favorite part of this movie is anytime a gun is drawn at Spirit, he goes, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> you see, you oh, got no, the <laughs> yeah, put that down, put that down. <laughs> you see his little horsey face be like, motherfucker, got a Glock. Man, yeah. He knows. And you're like, yeah. you're, you're, you're a, a wild all, stallion. You're, a, <laughs> yeah. you're not just a horse. Yeah. You're a wild stallion. Yeah. You ain't never seen a gun before. He's never seen a human before. Yeah. But he knows. He knows. He knows, he knows what He's is. spirit. He's spirit. Yeah. There was they, they also back to the anthrop anthropomorphization. Dude, it. wow, we all can say it so well. Don't yeah, I know. love how it, I love how it rolls off the tongue. Don't um, <laughs> but when he he comes across the camp um, of humans, because he's just like, oh, what is that fire over there? Yeah. And then his mom, you know, again, I'm putting dialogue to to context. His mom's like, don't go over there. And don't. he's like, mom, I'll be fine. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Goes over. Um, sees the other horse tied to a um, a, 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 post a, a post just in general. And then the way that the horse kind of like looks and he's like, are you free? Get the, get the, dude, get the fuck out of here. here. Leave. Leave, leave now. He's like, no, I'm. I gotta get you guys out. What's cocky going on? Cocky motherfucker. He he's was like, giving guess, cocky. Yeah, he's very cocky. The, the part that made me literally go out loud, like, my God, is when Spirit is first getting chased down. Yeah. By the by the whiteies. Yeah. And and he's in this canyon, and and Mom, who at this point is hot girl coded, yeah, yeah comes down and like with the whole the whole herd and is like spirit mm -hmm. and he just he whinnies at them he's like Arr! yeah Arr! get out of here get out of here, here. Get out go, of here. go on get and i'm like fuck mom yeah he's saying i'm taking this one mom go i yeah. did tear up multiple times in this film yeah stop it it's maybe because i'm pmsing when did you tear up that was one the next one was when they tied him up like seven men to one horse 
when they were trying to give him a haircut yeah. and clip his toenails. Watching them try and break a horse, uh, it made me. I was like, we should never try. We should never. We do should that. ride horses. We shouldn't ride horses. We should. Horse girls were doing it wrong. I. Yeah. It really like you watch. Okay, I want. I want to hear the other times you cried. Yeah, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Also, the if other you're time a I horse cried, girl. I'm sorry. I'm back, not a horse girl. I was just a, not you. Go on. If you're a horse girl and you like this movie, how on earth? earth. Could you ride a fucking what? horse? What? I feel like it's all about respect, though. Because it is true. Think with, about the way the natives treated their animals, yeah, and we had that relationship, and they had like a, a respectful relationship. Yeah, but even still, like the entire time, he's like, "Yeah, but you shouldn't be ridden. I'm you're. I'm allowing you to ride on my back because you, we need to get out of this precarious situation, and I'm not going to leave you behind." But overall, I'm still trying to get the fuck out of here. Garrick, yeah. have you ever thought maybe the horses? Like to be ridden. I don't, I don't you ever thought that. they're like? Hey. Like I feel like Rain was totally fine with it. Rain was like, "Bitch, get on this back." Rain's yeah. a fucking cop. Rain's what? a cop. No, Rain's a goddamn. Zach. I wrote this down. Rain I wrote this fucking you both down. Wrote down Rain's I wrote a cop. it down. Rain's a cop. Rain's a fucking. What are you police talking officer. about? Did you write that down? No, 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 no. Because I did. First of all. Mayor Winnie's in his face. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, oh shit, we're gonna get an enemies to lovers plot mm-hmm. line. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. down for that. Yeah. But then she ties up next to him. He has this moment where he's like, Psh, mares. Yeah. yeah. Which is just like, I don't know. But <laughs> she Girls. breaks him. Yeah. yeah. She's like, actually, captivity is great. It's cool. And you should love your. We get to we get to walk around and we get to put circles on our eyes. And That's I'm sick. gonna, I'm gonna hold you down. You're gonna try yeah. and run away. Actually, you're 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 stuck with me, it's and I'm gonna thing. seduce you to to break your mind. The, but the, he did let him go. Yeah, yeah that was end. a mind game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can we? Do, I know we've already talked a lot about horror bestiality. Can we talk about the scene of them falling in love? I well, felt uncomfortable. Well, uh, yes, it. I think we did talk a- about how he's hot, but I don't think specifically enough. Yeah, we, talked we need to talk about it in the abstract about how he's hot. But I want to tell you, this is an upsettingly hot horse. He's hot. He's, hot. he's got that long jaw. Yeah. She's wearing eyelashes. She's got eyelashes. She's got fake eyelashes. He's got that how, how scruff. Would you know that she is a, a girl? Is horse. A girl. He's Come got on. scruff <laughs> in a way that made me hot and bothered. Horses yeah. shouldn't have scruff. Early on in the movie. He has a swoop of fucking hair. Yeah, he does. Excited. Just down his face. And that it's like, chest? His that chest looks chest. like, literally looks like a ball sack. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I'm dead all, fucking all serious. Of their, all of their chests look like I'm dead fucking serious. No, okay. They yeah. give this horse. Rainy is like, is is literally. <laughs> she hot hates that she picked this No, she's not hot about it. She hates it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, Rainy has, her, yeah. Rainy has her head in her hands. Looks disappointed yeah. Looking down, groaning. So saying, yeah. how am I going to edit this into something releasable? Yeah. It's so funny. Uh. He, they give all of these horses abs. Uh huh. That's unnecessary. Uh huh. But I'm telling you, his body is a dick and balls. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> interesting. It's one giant phallus. I, it's 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 the top of a two of a of an eight pack, but it's just a two pack that's open, and the two pack looks like balls between his legs, and then his neck is a big old penis. What's crazy is like I forgot that like. A Mustang is in a car. It was named after, after a horse. horse. And it was named after this motherfucking horse. Yeah, Tell me about the falling in love scene that made you uncomfortable. Yes, please. Do you all not know with, with I talk about? No. I mean, holy shit. So Lil Creek and Spirit, they break away from the baddies. But don't worry, they're going to get captured again like about six <laughs> more times. Yep. Um, and Lil Creek's like... <laughs> To all of his homies, and his homies come running out of nowhere with their mares, and then <laughs> what do you got? Slow motion shot, rain, black and white speckledy girl, platinum blonde hair, yeah, yeah. eyelashes, blue eyes, baby that's, blues. That's blonde with freckles and horse. There you go, <laughs> and horse speak. And it's just giving all American girl next door, like natural, um, what do we call them? Heavy naturals. Heavy naturals. And um, <laughs> they, large, what do we call them? Lar- what are, you lar- know what we call no, them. Large uh, heaving breasts. There and it then is. They said, Breasticles. Uh, what is the, what was the word? <laughs> you called them heavy naturals. What? No, it wasn't heavy naturals. It was, maybe it was. Heavy it was heavy naturals. naturals. It was something else. And then they, they become more than just horse friend very quickly yeah very quickly this yeah. movie wants to be okay keep, continue no 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 what, what was the discomfort it, 
It's when they like first she like does the apple with his mouth. Yeah. And you're like, just make out, guys. Yeah. Like, well, and then they're they're necking in minutes. They're they're circling, crossing they're necking, creeks they're together. making eyes. They're they're skinny dipping. That was them skinny dipping. At one point, she's like laying on the ground, being like, ooh. ooh, ooh. Yeah. Exactly yeah. that noise. This this movie wants to be the Lion King. It wants to be uh, uh, Tarzan. Can we talk about the Brian Adams soundtrack? Yeah, I not think Phil God Collins. we're was, talking about the soundtrack. I was gonna. I was like, how fucking dare you even try to get close to that Phil Collins soundtrack? Fuck off. Wait, are you kidding? I was upset. We all we all felt that this was trying to be Phil yeah. Collins, Wait, right? Hold on. Yeah, I. I thought I'll, this was please. better than Tarzan. But shut the fuck up! <laughs> what do you know? Are you kidding? No. Rainy, pull up some fucking tracks. No. no. Pull up some other no fucking way. tracks for me. No. no way. Are you no. out of your board? No. no. This soundtrack was a, no. a fucking fourth You're main character. Out of your mind. Yeah. You, I Thank agree with you. Kelsey. I agree with Kelsey. And you know who did it? Hans Zimmer. Hans motherfucking Zimmer, you c it's still Take a, no, 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 no. You think you, first of all, you, you can if you say <laughs> blank is a better soundtrack than Tarzan, you're, you're wrong. wrong. There's you're no fill in the blank. Absolutely wrong. You're just always wrong. Phil, this, Phil Collins made fuck. I, I, it, it's damn near like when Kendrick did the out the album, the soundtrack Don't for you Black Panther. Black Panther. This is the, it, it's on that level. It's Hans motherfucking Zimmer. With I know, Brian but Adams. I, I am also. I'm, yeah. I'm. We're we're also talking about the soundtrack, not this. We understand like the score and all of the scope. No, Hans and all Zimmer that also did the sound. He so Brian Adams who did Summer of '69. The lyrics. Uh, so one of these songs is a famous TikTok song. Yeah, it's a beautiful soundtrack. It's yeah. famous for it is famous for its soundtrack. Uh, yes, but as uh, famous as Tarzan's. Uh, no, I way. gotta look up the soundtrack because y'all are fucking sleeping. You're, you're out it of your is. Mind. You're telling me you weren't like, oh fuck it, no, dude. It, because it, it was, was coming a off character. the heels of Tarzan. It's the same shit. I'm it, gonna do an Instagram poll, and by the end of the episode, I'll have the answer. What is it? Are you saying what is a better soundtrack? Yeah, that's crazy. I don't even know Blah. that I could put this in the top it's not five animated the, soundtracks. No, no, absolutely you are not. So wrong. And this isn't even close to turning. Sound red. the bugle literally made me cry when he was stuck in the trailer. I was getting into a. I, I want to tell you how much I believe this. A shouting match with Kaylin about why Lion King was the best Disney movie, and then she was like Tarzan soundtrack. Yeah, and I went, okay, fair. You there have a point. Is. Yeah, I can't name any other soundtrack from Tarzan than the the drums. You only need one. That's the that's the one you're fighting for. That's the hill you're dying on. Which one? Which which one? Boo, 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 I can feel it. No, that's not, not. That's not on it. That's not even. Then I can't even name one Phil Tarzan Collins. track. Wow. Did we have this argument? I feel like I literally had this exact same argument with you guys we've when got, we did Tarzan. We've got you'll, you'll be in my heart, be and then you in yeah, my heart, which is fucking crazy. Sure. And then you've got um, what is it? Two it's worlds. It's not about and how many songs like you write. That's, it's about yeah. the impact of the songs. Yeah, you're, these songs impacted me. You're smoking dick, dog. <laughs> if you think that this you're, was a better soundtrack than Tarzan's, that's insane. It's like Rainy because agrees also, with me, and that's all I need to yeah, know. Yeah, but also that's fair. That's fair. Thanks, Kelsey. You I, love it. I'm not crazy. <laughs> you love it. I'm not crazy. But the fact that Tarzan came out like. Th three, four years before this movie Very came out. Very clearly. And then you you have this like raspy voice person singing it. I'm and the per I'm only saying person because I'm not uh familiar with this Brian artist. Adams. With Brian Adams. Um and no, like it's, just it's, right it, after the success of the soundtrack of Tarzan, it's like, I believe it's that's like, an Oscar-winning soundtrack. Am, am I wrong? Or you are. Yeah. It, you are correct. Oh, it's sorry. like <laughs> you don't you don't this is years after Tarzan. Yeah had a singer from the 80s make a soundtrack for an animated movie and Jeffrey Katzenberg said, bet, yeah, I'm gonna do gonna it. I'm gonna do the same thing. So you're just and saying like, that you're mad that this guy copied the same style? <laughs> no, it just, <laughs> it, it, it's the same style, but not the same Impact. pun unintended See, It felt like it's uh, spirit. to me. Yeah, it felt like a, the Wild West to me. Yeah, it felt yeah. like the perfect encapsulation of the movie. Like as yeah. soon as it needed music and emotion and like, 
off to the adventure the same way that like I don't know Pirates of the Caribbean like starts a really dun, good dun, soundtrack dun, 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 when yeah. it's like dun, dun, time dun, dun, to fucking dun, dun, play uh-huh. Hans, that's Hans what Zimmer. this was given yeah I do agree with the fourth character yeah yeah I, I, well, well, only because it, there's, there's no, no dialogue there's no dialogue <laughs> and, and and I even though I didn't you like it, it the way you do I all agree with you there because yeah. it the mu- the music has to do a lot of heavy about, lifting yeah. in this yeah. movie a ton although for no dialogue you Zach had like a whole like you were. What like citing it? You were like, oh, and then she says this, and then uh, he yeah. says a lot of, There was a lot said. Yeah, there was yeah. a lot said without. <laughs> Don't any hear words. what I'm not saying. <laughs> there might not be dialogue, but there was plenty said. We are a diverse intro- podcast. We do all sorts of films. We this do. movie introduces you to body language. Ah. Yeah, somatic right. chatting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just feel like it. By the end of the movie, it was like very impactful. You watched it last night. I watched it last night only because Garrick was like, "Does it have no dialogue?" And I was like, "There's no way." Because I watched it a bunch growing up, and I was like, "Did this? Did this movie that I saw all the time have no dialogue?" Wait, so you've yeah. seen this before? Oh yeah. yeah. Tell was me it? about. Was this in your VHS collection? Yes. Yeah. 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 Tell, was, tell me everything. I mean, we just missed it because we're too old. I get. I, I guess so. Yeah, I think that this was because Shrek had already been out. And so now I'm like starting to get We're like grown, a comedy. little adult, mm-hmm. you know, like, oh, these are like smarter jokes and like learning joke structure yeah. here mm-hmm. at 10 years old. This didn't have a comic relief, which no. was like a big like was critique no of it, I guess. Yeah. Was like, it wasn't funny. It was it was literally just like an animated drama. Well, let's, yeah. let's be clear. We were 12 when this came out. So we were Good barely point. deciding what That's, we saw and what we did. But you watched just a bunch of bunch. But this yeah. felt. Yeah. Yeah. But my, my, so my sister was a horse girl. So ah. I watched it by, you know, she was always watching it. So I watched it a ton. Mm. Didn't really remember any of it. Like all I remember was being like, okay, he's hot, first of all. Yeah. And also, <laughs> but I just was so surprised that Little Creek to me was so much hotter than Spirit because Spirit was juvenile. Like yes. I feel like he was hot, but he was like such a young dumb. Yeah. And he had the looks. Yeah. Little not Creek the, not the had the had whole the, package. He had the yeah. whole package. I loved his energy. Yeah. And by the way, very Randy, respectful. proud of you for being <laughs> for, able to move on from growing. the fuck boys. This is yes. huge. Yes. This is huge and we stand. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, but w- watching it again, I was like, yeah, I thought the ending was, it also had so many twists and turns. Yeah. They really could not shake the colonizer. If they by twists and turns, captured. you mean uh, spirit at the edge of a cliff jumping into water? Yes, yes. they did that a lot. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You mean the freedom jump? At the yeah. end, oh, yeah, that was. That's what I'm fucking calling yeah, it. The Little Creek, yeah, him, him j- jumping that that canyon and then like putting the, his arms back. I was like, oh, this is stunning. And then the colonizer pulling yeah. a gun and then being like, no, we mean. respect him. The they, col- okay, I'll come I, for I, you I again. A, what a what a surprise ending. Yeah, yeah, because they could have shot that motherfucker. <laughs> I hate. Okay, so that whole thing happened where he sees him. He's like, no, nah, put it down. He deserves his freedom damn near. I was like, I don't love the the whole, hey, white settlers won't, weren't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were fine. They respected freedom. It's like, fuck off. Well, I think don't, that don't was, put that in there. Why would they kill him? They wanted to tame him. Yeah, like there's nothing in it for them other than spite. I think I, they wanted I to kill him like, all because they wanted to kill them all. Yeah. Oh, I felt like what this, <laughs> it was this, a genocide of the West eventually. Right. Yeah, that's but what the that's why in the beginning, that's why in the beginning he goes, "Well, was the West want?" You'll have to say for yourself. Yeah, it's like they didn't win the battle, but they won that war. Did I say that wrong? Yeah, yeah opposite. Yeah, the other way. Unless I was talking about the colonizers. Then I don't I was know right. who did They what, won that but. battle, but they lost the war. <laughs> someone lost the battle, someone won the war, and vice yeah. versa. Yeah, yeah but yeah, I yeah. thought that was such a good twist ending where it's like, oh, he's just going to he's just gonna let him. He respects him. He respects him. He saw that jump and went, Yeah, ah, that was sick. Yeah, that was that dope, was pretty man. Cool. That was pretty crazy that she did that. That, that horse flew yeah. through the air. That was tight. You know what? I think at that moment he realized, man, that horse is too hot to shoot. Yeah, yeah that horse got a big dick. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I heard. That's yeah. The when dialogue. he was jumping, he saw it like yeah. swing in the wind. It was like it looks like an elephant scratching his belly. Mm-hmm. God damn it! We that video was that. crazy. This movie has everything you want from a horse movie. Yeah, you want a horse running away from an exploding train? Check. <laughs> Got it. You, you want a horse diving into water and somehow carrying another horse, even though it doesn't have opposable thumbs? Check. Check. Yeah. You want a horse? Not saying a lick of dialogue, but saying everything. Oh, check. Nice. Uh, the the whole train sequence is insane. Hilarious. There's, Why did the train explode? 
There. Okay. Well, first of all, <laughs> there are horses pulling a train. Yeah. Horsepower. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Kelsey, uh, you're on fire. Thank you. Did you not know <laughs> like that that's train. what that means? That is what that <laughs> Well, I knew that that's what horsepower meant, but that can't be... There weren't horse-drawn trains. They, they no, didn't have the moving. tracks yet. This was the first railroad system. Yeah. They were setting up okay. yeah. so, transportation. So Spirit basically plays dead. This is a, pet, a tricky little horse. Yeah. He plays dead. That was so They funny. carry him, and then he says, Surprise, motherfucker! Yeah. And then he <laughs> kicks him. He kicks him. He kicks... Kick some horses free. I just want to point out the horses that he freed, they're dead. Oh, for sure. Because they are all chained together. Yeah. Yeah. But then Spirit starts kicking chains. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, this causes a train to flip over. Yeah. I don't know why, but I I rewinded three times. I'm not kidding. It falls down the hill that they pull it all the way up. I would yeah, I would say I was thinking that it was like a little banked, like the trail that they were pulling up was not only upwards, but also tilted a little bit. And so, like, without the other horses, it just, like, slid down. Well, they were up, going up a hill. That was the yeah. whole thing. And he was like, y'all are going to make us, oh, my God. Again, I, re- I rewinded it multiple yeah. times. Oh, so you I, saw. And yeah. I know and I still was like, I yeah. don't know, I'm and moving then, on. Well, yeah. when it yeah. rolled yeah. down the bottom of the hill, it, it hit the house, the, the station that they were all I think in. it hit another train. No, it hit the house. And then it hit it the exploded. house. It exploded. Yeah. There were why multiple. Did, where explosions. did the second train come from? I there it was there. No. Why did something explode? Why did because why did the house hit, explode? Maybe that's where all the fuel is. Okay. Because it's badass. Because it's bad. <laughs> did we have fuel then? Coal. We were steam engine. No. Yeah. yeah. Coal doesn't yeah, coal. explode. It's coal a great doesn't point. explode. What so exploded? Like, why? Yeah, there's no nothing, gas. nothing explodes. <laughs> nothing should have What's exploded. What's exploding? Yeah, yeah they don't have any. No, it's just coal. Yeah. Maybe it was where all their computers were. But here's my like <laughs> yeah. LOL about that is like they didn't like stop them. They just delayed the inevitable. Yeah. Like they Oh just, yeah, we know they lost. Yeah, they just built another train. They, yeah, he lost the battle. They're like, uh, lost, are you in a movie theater watching this right now? Yeah. Then you know that they lost. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the, the yeah. devastating part. But it's pretty cool what he did it. You've never seen a, a horse fuck up a train like that, have you? Yeah. Not in the, your regular, regular old westerns. Y'all ready for some fun facts? God, am I. Fun facts with Zach's back. Zach's back is back because he walked 27,000 steps a day. <laughs> nice. Thank you. First of all, I just want to give a shout out. Uh, we didn't say his name, but <gasps> the main baddie of this movie, James Cromwell, who is uh, uh, Logan's brother in succession. I know how that's how I'm going to get you guys. Whoa. Uh, he's also in Babe. He's great. Oh, You'd recognize yeah. him. You know okay. him. We yeah. love him. Love I was him. listening to his voice. I'm Wait, like, who is he in this? He's the bad guy. Oh, I thought I recognized that voice. Yeah. So we know that uh, Matt Damon got the role, but before that, they considered Tom Hanks and Robert Redford. And by considered, I mean, I bet they couldn't afford them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the man had six lines to, to dub, so. <laughs> this is so funny. They used real horses for all the audio. <laughs> Oh my god. That that's is That's crazy. Wait, that's cra- <laughs> This is the best horse acting. How did they How? How did they you- had to find a stampede? What did they do to the horses to get them to neigh and whinny like that? There were no humans doing horse acting. <laughs> Wait, now that you say that it seems so fucking obvious. Like of course that wasn't a human neighing. Like yeah. those were horse sounds. They're horses. They just put a uh, a mic up to a horse. Yeah, they just went to a farm. But like, did they, they tickled do their some belly. Bad shit to that horse to make him be like, "Run, run! You have to get out of here." Oh, <sighs> yeah, that, he was worked up quite a bit. I think if you, yeah, that is pretty worked up. But I think that if you found a farm where they're like that one, that one over there is pretty loud. It's crazy. <laughs> and the then crazy they just put it out like, to his, his, his mouth. It's like there you go. Vo for horses is there like. How, yeah, is the horse yeah. demanding? Like, is it a? Are you no. paying him a day rate? <laughs> yeah. Does he need a hay break? Ooh, yeah. I I want to tell you that this movie was in my mind because I don't know if you know this. They made a sequel. There was a show two years ago. Oh. They made a sequel. Oh, what was there? It, what? It's not a show. It's a movie. It's a. I think it's a movie. Yeah, oh, I thought it was a God. show on Netflix. I thought I saw it on Netflix and I was yeah, just like, oh, because when is you this typed a- in Spirit, two came up. Yeah. Spirit. And it's a girl, of course. A I've horse, of, of course. I wish. <laughs> no, it's a, well, maybe there also is. Um, I, I I remember two years ago seeing posters for a new Spirit movie. 
and I have no follow up there. I just can't believe that they yeah. went from they went twenty years apart and said, "You know what we need? <laughs> we need another. Spirit. We need a, we need another spirit." Mm-hmm. You're trying to cash in on the horse girl craze. Why? Why did they do it? I don't know. Yeah, um, I think they had to like address what happened to the West in the second one. Maybe make it more real. No, like just yeah, just a continuation of this story. Just I don't want to watch it. Don't you? Further down the line, what is Spirit Two about, Rainy? Let's see. I'm I'm looking it up now. It's called Spirit Untamed. I want to know. Untamed, of course. What if it's just like riding school, like an equestrian school? Like now Spirit teaches other horses how to high jump. Uh Uh-oh, this is going to be about the circus. Mm. Oh, is it far off? Is it about the circus? See, that's all I got in my speed round, speed reading. She got stuck in the circus. Well, I mean, that does kind of answer the question of like where they're at. It is after the West has been lost. Um, I also have some really bad news for us, Kelsey. Uh, I put this poll up and it's 84% for Tarzan. There it is. Can I tell you why? Because no one's ever watched this fucking movie. Yeah. Mm. I've never even heard of it. When you said Spirit of Cinnamon Roll, I literally thought we were watching one of Garrick's anime things. Okay. Wow. I was really excited. Our anime things. You know, ours for sure. I even roped a boy into trying to watch it with me and we both turned this on and I went, I am so sorry, I thought this was the <laughs> anime we were watching. So we talked about the opening shot. Yeah. They nicknamed it the Homeland Pan, and it took over nine months to design. Mm. What? 700 background elements, 30 layers of artwork for each frame. I just want to say you have a giant piece of something green in your teeth, and I don't want you to get it out. Yeah, I've been eating a, Blueberry. Um, a sour strip this whole time. <laughs> it's like perfectly making you look like you're missing a tooth. <laughs> uh uh, they uh, re- the original script did have talking animals, huh? Exclusively, they actually didn't have any talking humans at all. <gasps> it was four and a half years. What was it? They were working on this for four and a half years. Whoa. Talking animals, no humans, no talking humans. They had storyboards and animation tests, the whole thing. And at some point, they decided, mm, you know what, this movie needs more Nang. Yeah, that is a That's crazy, crazy choice. I. Is it like a, was it a test audience thing maybe? I think they wanted to go darker. They wanted to go darker. darker. And it was like with Talking Horses was like, this isn't. Because they're like, we're not fucking Disney. Yeah. 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 That's fair. That's a, that's a good decision to make, I think. That's a crazy decision to make. It's a big gamble, big risk. Yeah. I know that this movie uh, uh, didn't do so well in the box office. Mm. Uh, Debuted at number four. Uh, Let me see if I can remember what it was behind. If you just knew that off the top of your head, that'd be crazy. <laughs> that'd be very cool. And I think that's why we didn't see it, right? This was, it was... It got buried. It got buried uh, behind... Uh, Rainy, do you have it? Can you tell me? So, number one, Spider-Man. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, listen to it. Okay, yes, I remember. <laughs> that's all you needed. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever seen this fucking movie. Okay, number one, Spider-Man. Yeah, no. Go on. Listen to this murderer's row of what came out. Okay. I remember okay. number three is Insomnia, Christopher Nolan. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Um, number two, Star Wars. Oh, wow. Star Episode Wars? two, Episode Attack of the Clothes. Oh, wow. Why would they do that to this poor horse movie? God damn. Yes, yeah, so you got Spider-Man. Unfaithful is next. No, this is wrong. Uh oh, I don't know. I'm on domestic box office. Mm. It's, it's number five. Oh, Spirit was number five, and then Insomnia, and mm. then Spirit. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, it got bodied. That's yeah. insane. Buried alive. This is why you should talk to your rivals and just move fucking movies around. Because now Mm -hmm. everybody's like, oh, yeah, I've seen the poster for this movie because I passed it on the way to see Spider-Man. Nobody knows what this movie was. It's like Taylor and Beyonce are talking. Why can't we do that with movies, too? Yeah. Well, I know that this was like Jeffrey Katzenberg's baby. Uh, It was his idea, something he really believed in. And so I think there was honestly a lot of hubris there. This is the guy that made Quibi. Okay. Exactly. Why no one cares. (laughs) Uh yeah I mean, <sighs> yeah Star Wars to uh, Star Wars Episode Two Spider Man Insomnia Spirit Ooh about a boy that was a good good week at the movies good week good week mm-hmm. strong week uh, and finally Brian Adams was not the first person they approached to make the soundtrack that Kelsey thinks is iconic um, because they <laughs> and Rainy yeah, and <laughs> because a deal fell through with Mr Garth Brooks damn huh. 
But they still captured the soul of the the great outdoors. I'll tell you what. <laughs> now it's time for us to decide, is this movie a pleasure, a guilty pleasure, or just plain guilty? I don't and think I th- we said a single guilt. Well, and I think we're really looking at this through the lens of nostalgia. How is it aged? How do we uh... feel about this movie? Does it hold up? Is it that great gem that you remember watching as a little, little kid, as a little tyke? Well, I've never seen it, so I can't. I, what do you think? You, had you ever guys seen it? I hadn't. Yeah, none of us had seen it. No, never seen it. So I don't. I I think it holds up. I thought this yeah. was made in '92. My mind was blown okay. watching this, being like, "Oh my god, they got so much right!" Yeah. Like I think there's uh, what we didn't really get to talk about is kind of this perfect story circle. Yep. Uh, that they do a really good like adventure tale. There's mm-hmm. a lot of hijinks. There's a lot of laughter moments. There's a lot of moments for tears, especially if you're PMSing. That was the other thing I was going to say is if you're about to be on your period, do not watch this fucking movie because <laughs> they emote so much and the music was so strong. I was watching this on my phone oh my and was still crying. That's how much it like got me. Wow. So I have to say it's just a full P. Full yeah. P for me. Yeah. Um. No, this is... So I love um, the first act of Wally, where they oh, where the they best. don't even have human beings, and you're just like watching this little guy communicate with Still beeps and bobs. Fuck, Kelsey, come over this weekend. Yeah, I, I, we can't. We we can't have I'm you just sorry. out in the world being a fool. It, it's, <laughs> sorry, it's so good. It's so um, good. But yeah, like there's there's just this silent film, um, a, a silent short uh, in at the beginning of of Wally of just like him dealing with the the monotony of life and just kind of being like oh this is fine and then meeting somebody and then falling in love with that somebody and then you're like oh shit this is this i i i have so many other things to sh- to do to show and you watch this robot feel with life to the point where he goes out to space to save this person and leaves the planet behind damn and it's, spoiler alert i'm sorry no 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 you you it doesn't Okay. That is not even I like a spoiler you. at all. Anyway, um, it it's the same vibe, and um, for I th- I think that when anybody goes for anything without dialogue, and then they do it in a way that is like this, and it it it, it still has a story that comes across. Uh, I think it's awesome. I think that's a really hard and bold swing to take, and so yeah, no, it was just fucking fantastic. This is the best. Uh, this is the best. This is great. It was yeah. a good fucking movie. I don't. I don't really have anything like eloquent to say. We didn't say anything negative either, which is crazy. Yeah, didn't really hit for me. Oh shit! I thought it was okay. Yeah. Sorry. Damn. All right. You watch it during work. Yeah. That's yeah. why you need to sit and watch this on. Yeah. A, I on a I private a, moment. I think he was too hot. That's mm. what I'm gonna say. It was Distracted. distracting. Yeah. And I think if you love this movie, it's because you're a freak. Okay. Ooh. All right. Well, you're not you're wrong a fan. There. You're a fan. I so I <laughs> You should feel guilty for the thoughts that you have, and that's between you and Jesus. Okay, yeah. well. I uh yeah, no, I was about to go to bed. <laughs> I was I was getting ready to go to bed and I was just like, man, I gotta fucking I gotta watch this movie. Oh, it's it's not that long. I I can I can squeeze this in. And I watched it and I was uh, Oh, that's not the only um, thing yeah. you squeezed in. Oh, oh Zach. Nice. Stop it. I can't. That- no. Well, <laughs> where do we go from there? Horses are hot, and this one's the hottest. Yep. I'm at Corn Diddy on all the things. Kelsey Dara on all the things. Mm. Uh, I'm Garrett Bernard on all the things. Sorry. <laughs> Were you looking at pictures of Spirit? Uh, d- uh, yes. Admit it. Yeah, it was. He's very hot. Till next time. <laughs> very nice.